How to e-file a sue and attach. Once you have logged into your account, you will select new case, general session civil, small claims court, civil warrant, and here you see you have a sue and attach civil warrant and a sue and attach civil warrant non-generated form. If you choose the top one, after you type in your information, the system will generate a sue and attach civil warrant for you. If you would like to upload your own sue and attach civil warrant form, you can select the non-generated form. For this tutorial, I will show you the generated. Hearing information. If you would like to select the day of the week for this to be heard, you can do so here. And if you would like to go ahead and preset a court date, you can do so as well. These two are optional. If you will, do not want to select one, you do not have to. Description of legal action. This is where you will put your brief description for your sue and attach. Next, if you would like to enter in your phone number, you can do so here. Next, you will add your plaintiff. If your plaintiff is a person or an individual, you will keep this radio button selected. If your plaintiff is a company, you will select the company radio button and type in the business name. Here you see your attorney information has been populated. If you would just like to use your specific address, you can click unknown address for your company. Once complete, hit next. We will now add our defendant on the case by clicking the add defendant button. Again, if this is a company, you will select the company radio button. If this is a person, you will select this radio button. Phone number if you have it. And the address you would like the defendant to be served at. Don't forget to include your county and your zip code. If you know the defendant has an attorney and you would like to list them, you can do so by clicking add, typing in the last name and the bar number, then clicking save. Or if this defendant has any aliases, you can list those here. Once you are complete with the defendant's information, you can click Next. If you need to add another defendant, you can do so by doing the same process. Here, just to review of what you have typed in for each plaintiff and defendant, you can click on the plus sign and you can verify the information. If you need to remove for whatever reason, you can do so by clicking on the red X's. To continue, click Next. Here you see you have your sue and attach for personal real property. You have typed in the information and the system has generated the warrant for you. You can click on the view generated document to verify what has been filled out. So here you have your defendant, plaintiff and defendant, and the attorney information. To continue, you will now need to choose your service on how your defendant is going to be served. You will select service warrants. Your document type, you will select where your defendant is going to be served. This is going to be served by the Davidson County Sheriff. You will now click add. You will select by the plaintiff for the defendant and click Next. You will now need to add your writ of attachment. Your document category will be Sue and Attach Documents and Service. Here you see your writ of attachment automatically appears. We will now need to browse and upload the writ of attachment. This writ of attachment is a form that is located on our website. Once you have located that form and filled it out, you will save it to your computer. You will now browse and upload that writ of attachment. 
and click Add. You will now need to select your service for your writ of attachment. Your document category will remain the same for sue and attach documents and service. Your document type, here you will select service of writ either by Davidson County or out of county sheriff, wherever the address of the property being attached is located. Here we will select by Davidson County Sheriff and we will now click add. You will select by the plaintiff for the defendant. If your writ of attachment service is a different address than the defendant's address, you will need to click add, select your defendant and type in where your writ of attachment is going to be served at. On line two, you will put the specific place it's going to. And again, this is the company Smith's Plumbing. We will type in the city, verify your county is correct, and your zip code. Click Add. We will now click Next. So here we have our sue and attach for personal property. This again was a generated civil warrant form. We have our service by Davidson County Sheriff. This is service for the defendant. We have uploaded our writ of attachment. The writ of attachment is a form from the clerk's website. And just to view that document, you can click here. And again, this is what the writ of attachment paperwork looks like. We have our plaintiff our defendant, and here we have our Smith's Plumbing. And we have our service for our writ, and that's where we changed our address because the writ of attachment was being served at a different address. Once you have completed everything, you will click on behalf of. You will now click next. And here we have our filing fee of $169.75. We're using our escrow account as the method of payment. And here you have a review of your documents to be submitted. So just verify everything there. And if you need to add any special filing instructions for the clerk, you can list that here. Once you are ready to submit your filing, you will click Submit the Filing and click OK. This has now been sent to the clerk's office for approval.